Namibia's stagnant CPI ranking reflects stability but underscores the imperative for substantial progress in the fight against corruption. Hopwood therefore specifically advocates for comprehensive measures in critical areas. The country is urged to fully implement the Access to Information Act to enhance openness within the public sector. What we're not doing is uh, advancing in the cause of fighting corruption in a serious way by making serious policy legislation reforms that could put us in a better position to tackle corruption. And, you know, with oil and gas now on the horizon, big projects like green hydrogen happening, these are all presenting new um, and major corruption risks. So we need to really be on top of our game rather than sort of you know, just doing the basics or, or, or lagging behind on some key issues. Additionally, bolstering safeguards under the Whistleblowers Protection Act is highlighted as a critical step to encourage reporting and uncovering corruption. The IPPR emphasizes Namibia's participation in the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative as essential for governing oil, gas, and mineral resources with globally accepted standards. Transparency in beneficial ownership is flagged as imperative, urging Namibia to establish central registers accessible to various stakeholders contributing to the prevention and detection of corruption. Well, there's supposed to be a level playing field and obviously the financing of parties plays a role in this. And we don't have any uh, legislation that deals directly with campaign finance and we know from other countries that this is a big issue you know uh, who are the donors behind certain parties uh, where are they getting funding from and um, are there uh, dangers of arrangements whereby donors who give to a particular party that might be elected uh, then expect you know oh we're going to get the contracts we're going to get the uh, the licenses and so on Political financing transparency is another area underscored, with the IPPR urging Namibia to align with stipulations in the Electoral Act, ensuring openness in the funding for political parties. Lastly, a systematic and transparent process for the declaration of assets by public officials is recommended, fostering accountability and deterring corruption. In support of Transparency International Iceland, the IPPR emphasizes the collective responsibility to address the aftermath of the fish rod scandal, reinforcing Namibia's commitment to combat corruption and enhancing its global standing in integrity across multiple sectors. I'm Daniel Nadungian, BC News, Vent Hook.